Draft Day, starring Kevin Costner and Jennifer Gardner. Released April 7th, 2014. This was released by Summit Entertainment, which usually releases crap, but yeah, this one wasn't that bad, though. Uh, it was written by Rajiv Joseph and Scott Rothman. It was produced and directed by Ivan Reitman. And if you... That name probably sounds familiar to most people because he's the one behind Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and the new one that's coming out after life. Uh, he's also done like Stripes, Twins, Kindergarten Cop, whole pile, but there's mainly comedies. It's more of a drama film though that he wanted to, so that's pretty neat. Uh, had a budget of $25 million and it only made $29.5 million worldwide, so we made four million point five, so that's like a tiny minor success, I guess. I think in studio terms, it does that means a flop. But yeah, basically, Kevin Costner plays the uh, the owner of the Cleveland Browns, who he has to come up with, figure out who he's gonna draft to the Cleveland Browns to help them get a winning season. And it's all this film's all about like negotiation and. Uh, basic um how do you put it business skills <laughs> to uh um come up with these uh draft picks that they want but it's very most roller coaster ride and stuff because some of them are more money than they have to spend and everything like that all these up-and-comers want in the nfl which is usually the case in draft day an actual draft day so um yeah, so basically he has to, all the weight's on his shoulders because his boss wants to fire him, his girlfriend's pregnant, and he has this big decision to make in less than, like, twelve a 12-hour 12 day. So basically you follow him through the day trying to make negotiations and at the last second somehow pulls through and does a decent job. Overall, this film is pretty decent. It's pretty cool seeing, like, it shows you, sort of shows you, like, the backstage sort of stuff of a draft day and how stressful it can be for some of the owners and coaches and everything like that um and i'm not sure if it's 100 percent based on a true story or not but that would be interesting if it was it was a neat concept for it's a different type of football movie and uh covers a different basics of football so the nfl and stuff so i thought that was pretty interesting um yeah, I thought the love story with the girl from being pregnant, played by Jennifer Gardner and stuff, um, that was kind of just shoehorned in there, I think. Uh, I didn't think that really needed to be in there. It kind of bogged down the film a bit, made it a little slower. Same with the parent scenes and stuff, but some of that was like supposed to be in there. That show tells you how he became like the owner and stuff, which is reasonable. Um, but yeah. Some of, there's some parts that are pretty funny in this, some parts that aren't, and um, obviously it's a drama film, so it's not supposed to be super funny, <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, besides that, it was pretty decent, especially once the draft comes in, you start like trying to guess like what he's going to do. Stuff It's very suspenseful in that spot. But overall, I thought it was pretty decent. Kevin Costner, the acting in it was pretty well done. It was well shot, looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it just needed a little more substance, I think, and it would have been, like, a pretty, a little bit better, but this one's just your mediocre, generic sort of drama, sports drama, but with very little of the sport actually happening, it shows you more of the past, so uh, for that, I'm just gonna give this one a three, because, yeah, it was good, but it was definitely not phenomenal. <laughs> um, yeah, it was that. Just be ready for a little slow pay hour <laughs> for the first hour. Uh, definitely picks up in the end, though. So it was pretty decent. Not much really else to complain about besides the pacing in this film. I find that's a flaw with a lot of dramas now, though. So definitely check it out. It's pretty good. Um, I think it's a little bit underrated, so... Yeah, draft day, check it out. Trailer's linked down below. Instagram's linked down below. My Instagram's linked down below too. Where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there. Uh, comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought. Comment other films you want to hear my opinions on. 
uh, down below as well. Try my hardest to get some. Uh, make sure you subscribe because you never know what I'm going to review next and uh, talk about next. And it's probably, most likely something you probably never heard of. So I like finding weird gems like that. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share if you really want to. And yeah, too bad football season not on during the quarantine. That sucks. Yeah, that actually really sucks. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go find a group of friends and try to get them to play football. So, I'll see you guys in the next review.